Okay, so this question here. So a particle is moving with simple harmonic motion described by this. So that is displacement. Um, the particle from its central position over time, so time has to be bigger than zero. What is the maximum speed? Now, if we're talking about speed, we're talking about velocity, which means to get velocity, I need to derive the displacement of the function. So I need to do, for velocity, with respect to time, derive the function with respect to time. Now, when we're deriving a cos function, all I need to do is take this part here, the B value with T, and it's going to go to the front and multiply the other part. So it's going to be 1.32 times pi on 2. Cos will change to minus sine. So sine will go there, the negative will come to the front, and then your bracket doesn't change. Now, because this is tech active, we're going to go to our graphics calculators here, and you can see that I've entered that into my function already. So the other important thing is to check that your calculator is in radians because this will be asking for radians. And you'll see pretty quickly that if you don't put it in radians, you'll get some crazy answers. So my calculator is in radians, but if yours wasn't, you go shift, setup, and then keep going down until you hit degree, and then, oh sorry, angle, and then change from degrees to radians down here. Okay, so now I've got my graph. I could adjust my view window so I can see all the information, but I'm just going to G-solve for it. So shift, G-solve, and we want the maximum speed. So the maximum speed occurs when Y is equal to 2.073. Okay, so that means that this is our answer. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You could have also solved by knowing what you need to make this so that it's a maximum. So sine is at a max when it's pi on 2, you know, meaning that this would have to be multiplied by 1. So, yeah, you can do that too.